Hi everybody, welcome to another video uh, about arrays. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you um, how to reverse an array in C. Uh, before, uh, before going to C programming, I'm going to uh, explain you what it means. To reverse array, let's imagine that we have array which is called R and it has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when we say we want to reverse this array, it means that we want this array to be like this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So as you see, uh, it's been reversed, so uh, it's, it's in the sequence has been changed. Now it begins from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, continues to 1. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, firstly, uh, we should mention that arrays in C begins uh, indexing from 0. So 1 is, the, is in the place 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, I should mention that the length of this array is equal to 5, because there are 5 elements in it. Okay, so um, now what we want here is that first we want 1 to go here and 5 to come here, right? So um, it means that we want array 0 to hold the value in array 4, right? In this index. Okay, now array 0 is equal to 5. Okay, so now uh, the array should uh, is lo uh, looking like this. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. But this is not complete because we want 1 to go to the place of 5, right? So we want array, the value of array 0 to go to uh, array 4. But uh, when we do, uh, when we assign uh, the value of array 4 to the um, array 3, it means that we already changed array 0, so it is now 5. So as we change it, we have lost 1. So in order not to lose it, in order not to lose it, we will need another variable which holds the uh, value of uh, array zero. I'm gonna this. I'm gonna call this variable holder. And holder is gonna hold the value in array zero, which is which is one. Okay. Now. Uh, we want 5 to be replaced by 1, so 5 is in the index 4, so it's, be, it's like array 4, and we want array 4 to be, to hold the value that holder holds right now, it's, so it is holder. Okay. Now, after this step, our array is like 5, 2, 3, 4, 1. Alright, so uh, we succeeded to change the place of 5 and 1. But now it's not complete because we should change 2 and 4 as well. So 2 should go here and 4 should come here. So uh, remember that the uh, index of 2 is 1 and the index of 4 is 3. So again, um, okay, now again, uh, we're gonna write, we want array for 1, we want array 1, to hold the value in array 3, right? So we want to change the, their places. Okay, but array 3. Now array 1 here, there is 4, but 4 still is here. And we have lost 2 again. So again, not to lose, uh, we, want, don't, we don't want to lose 2. So again, I'm going to hold it in a variable, which is called holder. 
So holder holds array one, the value in array one, which is two. Okay, and now we want array three to hold the value of array one, previous value of array one, which now is uh, stored in the holder variable. So it's be like array three equal to holder. Okay, so in this step, uh, in this step, this is the last. Uh, uh, this is the last situation of uh, our uh, array. Now, after this step, it's be like it's like five, four, three, four, one. But after this step, it's like five, four, three two one so as you see we have now we have a uh, reversed array what we want this is the current situation of our array, our array which which is the which is the uh, situation we want so now we have reversed the array okay um now we should change uh, we should write everything in c but we should think a bit about it uh, so three is the is like the middle uh, value in um, our array. So the length is five. In order to get the middle, we're gonna divide it by two. And if it is odd number, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna take the uh, two. And uh, if it is um, uh, if it was a four, it's gonna be again two. So now uh, I wanted to write it because we're gonna use it. As you see, we did only two steps, one and two, right? Uh, we changed zero, array zero, and we changed array one. We, c we didn't touch array two, we didn't touch array three, four, etc. So it's like we changed only these elements so they they went to there and they went to here okay it's middle person in the um, it's middle person it, it didn't change its place okay so now let's write it in uh, C okay uh, so I have created a, a C file which is called reverse array so firstly oops not here but here okay firstly i'm gonna include library that i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use and uh, i'm gonna write my main function um, okay all right now uh, i want to write a function which reverse an array so um, uh, as you see, my function is going to reverse array. It's not going to return anything to me. That's why I call its data type as void. And I'm going to call it just reverse. And I'm going to pass two arguments for it. One is the pointer to array. And the other one is the length of array. OK, uh, the prototype is ready. Now it's time to fill it. Okay, um, so as you see here, we begin from zero. So I'm going to use the loop, which begins from zero. And we continue to two, right? We, uh, we took zero, we took one, but we didn't take two. So uh, to get to, we're going to use this um, <coughs> formula, which is length divided by 2. For example, why I don't use 2? Because <coughs> the length can be changed here. I'm, I can have, uh, I don't know, 10 elements. I can have 11 elements. So that's why I need to find some formula for it. So L divided by 2 is OK. 
So i is less than length divided by 2 and i plus plus. <coughs> now, firstly, I need to have variable which holds the um, array 0 or array 1. So I'm going to call it holder here and I'm going to assign uh, 0 to it. Now, as you see, I want holder to store array 0. So array 0 in this case is array i, which begins from 0 because it's going to, uh, as i is going to change, array 0 is going to change as well. Uh, so I'm going to write holder holds the value of array i. Okay. And next step is that I want array i, which is zero in my in the first step, array i, to hold the value of array four. Okay, now let's uh, let's think how we can write it in C, because every time it changes, it's four three. Uh, or it can be a greater number like 7, then 6, 5, or 6, 3, etc. So we, th we should think about it. We cannot write 4 there because it's going to change here 3. Now, how can we find it? As you see, length is here 5, okay, but uh, the last element is array 4. So it is, uh, it's like uh, array okay length minus one right so array four is like uh, array length minus one but um, now it's array 3. So array 3 is like length minus 2. Right? Or it can be a greater number as well. We may have 10 uh, elements here. So it's like length minus 1, length minus 2, length minus 3, length minus 4, etc. So uh, as you see, these numbers are also. Uh, um, uh, incrementing so uh, we need to think something for this we need to think a variable for this uh, now what we have is that we have i and we don't we have i that's changing only uh, i is changing in our program in our loop but we cannot write in uh, length minus i because i uh, is beginning from zero so how can we write it? We can write like that array i is equal array length minus i plus 1. Because i is now 0 and uh, if we write length minus i, so it's going to give us uh, 5 minus 0 which is 5 and we don't have a uh, fifth index in our array we have only fourth index a two fourth index so it's not the case so uh, we need to begin length minus 1 so to get 1 I'm gonna increment i uh, by 1 so i plus 1 is 1 so length minus 1 is uh, 4 uh, 5 minus 1 is 4 so I'm gonna get the last index from here. Uh, now uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, assign the uh, uh, variable that the value holder holds to uh, array 0 which is array length minus i plus 1. Now it is holder. It holds the value of holder. Yeah that's it. Uh, for reverse function okay now let's uh, call this function um, so I'm gonna have an array again the same name uh, the same name and this array um, is gonna hold one two three four five 
prime elements okay so uh, and I need one more variable which is the length so uh, to define length or to find length I'm gonna use this formula so it's been explained by um, uh, Mr. Igor in his uh, Arrays uh, video so you can watch it and you can understand uh, how we can get this number here and now um, firstly I want to print my array so let's write uh, one more function to print array so to print array uh, we don't need to return anything so I'm gonna use uh, void again and I'm gonna call it print array and I'm gonna pass array and its length here um, so let's fill it so to print array uh, again we're gonna use loop uh, it's it begins from zero till it's less than uh, length uh, I just want to print uh, the array element okay array i all right and then I will put new line okay now uh, let's print the original array so I'm gonna write print okay the original array and I'm gonna call this function and I will pass array and length as a um, parameter now let's uh, call reverse function reverse and I'm gonna pass the name of array and its length which is length in my case in, in the main function so now let's print um, uh, the array after calling reverse function now let's print array again okay uh, everything is ready now we should check if it's okay or not all right so uh, here we have original array one two three four five and now the array after calling reverse function five four three two one I hope everything is clear for you um, and we could change the elements here as well we can expand it I don't know uh, 10 11 16 34 now let's uh, run this program again so it should work and it's working for um, any array no matter we change the elements the size uh, the length etc so it works um, I hope you understood this program how it works how we're gonna change uh, uh, how we gonna how actually we should reverse an array first we should think about it how we can change it uh, you can take paper and write on it to understand and then you should um, transform your knowledge into programming language uh, so once you think you find the algorithm you find steps you can write it in any programming language that you know uh, at least a bit syntax and you can write it everywhere so the main thing is the algorithm to find the algorithm for it i hope everything is clear for you um, see you in the next tutorial